City leaders and organizers behind the event say this is only the beginning to promote community engagement and help curb violence in the city of Greensboro. A day of food, games, spoken word and art at Barber Park in Greensboro. The first ever Peace on Purpose event, a vision part of the city's Office of Community Safety's Violence Prevention Program. That is really focused on violence prevention, intervention and interruption in our city. So it's, it's big on collaboration, community partnership and working together. McNeil says it was imperative to have a wide variety of resources for community members, young and old. That way we're able to really help young people, maybe if they want something to do during the summer. There are organizations out here today that have opportunities for kids during the summer. You have mental health services out here, you've got people dealing with substance use disorders, you've got uh, organizations out here that have funding for nonprofit organizations that are interested in um, working with at-risk youth. So there's opportunity for connection. A connection and opportunity for families and friends to come together, speaking out against violence in a fun and interactive way. We all want to see a change in the street, so definitely we want to bring the communities together. We want to do events like this and show love, show happiness, and just get together and have fun. But it doesn't stop here. Those attending say in order for the Peace on Purpose initiative, along with other events and resources to work long term, it must take community involvement. I would love to see the community uh, buy into the programs, buy into what's happening and what's going on versus uh, accepting the norm, the criminal activity, the gun violence, the drug uh, opioid addictions and, and the fatalities and stuff like that. So I would love to see the community uh, take ownership and actually fill its park up. And this event was free and open to the public. If you would like to learn more about the Office of Community Safety or this event, just head to our website at WXII12.com. In Greensboro, I'm Kara Peters, WXII 12 News.